Uh, busy week as ever in Brussels as we uh, break up for the, the summer. We come back at the end of August and I've been very pleased this week to have Gitto Teged with us working in the office. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, yeah, um, I'm Gitto Teged as you said. I'm studying in a school of the Hughes on Anglesey. Um, I'm currently studying English, Maths, History and English Literature and I'm hoping to go into politics and economics in the future. So obviously um, having the opportunity to visit Brussels and to understand the importance of the work that the European Parliament and um, elected representatives such as yourself do in this Parliament, um, well it's been an absolutely amazing opportunity, once in a lifetime in fact. And give us your impressions of it and how you feel now as a young person when the UK might be leaving all of this. Well, yeah, as I said, one of the most important things is the fact that I've been able to recognise and to identify the importance of the Parliament um, in playing an integral role as um, a key player in the development of social policy, socio-economic policy all across Europe. And I think that's something that will be um, missed. And as a young person, as I mentioned, it's um, obviously it's on one hand, it's rather tragic that we are leaving and it's something that we have to recognise um, what we are going to miss and how these changes will impact us and the generations to come. However, it's something that we must also sort of embrace and we must embrace our diversity despite well, despite the fact that we are leaving um, this absolutely fantastic union that does so much um, absolutely amazing work as I've seen firsthand by attending meetings and um, well, meeting different people all across the parliament. Well, I'm sure we're with politicians like you in the future that Wales is uh, future will be safe whether we are outside the EU or within it will still be a strong part of Europe. Yeah, cool. Thank you.